Hello, welcome back to the next episode of U-Boat. As we are, we were chasing some prey. Heading roughly north. As the sun rises, we should get better vision. Well, so far I have nothing anywhere on my in my visual range yet. So what we're actually gonna do is I'm gonna go below deck and give some orders. We've risen to the surface is at 5.10 and now it is 5.20, so it's 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on, so... Let's go to our standard depth of 25. Change to regular lighting. Leave the gyro compass on and find out if there's anything around us. How's the map accuracy? 100%. Excellent, Hoffman. Good work. Got some good timing there. Schraubengeräusch, Peilung, 355 Grad. Okay, okay, a little bit too. 20 Meter. A little bit to port. Okay. That's pretty much all we need to know. 25 meter. Anblasen. As we don't know the distance. Äußerste Kraft voraus. Funkraum besetzen. 20 meter. All the torpedoes are maintained. Good work. Actually, is that what? Auf diese Motoren No, that's not what that means. Herr Kaloyn, wir sind aufgetaucht. We don't need any direct orders right now. Gonna go straight for another ten minutes or so. <laughs> Still got absolutely nothing on the scopes. In this awful, awful weather. Let's 
to. So somewhere in this direction was our bear, was our target. But yeah, we have. I don't know what our visual range is here, but it must be. It's terrible, right? Like, <laughs> according to this, our view range is 1.4 kilometers. So. We can't see anything. Tauchen auf 25 Meter. Okay, so apparently we spotted something. So where? Oh, I think I just... <laughs> Apparently, I have something in this direction, maybe? Schraubengeräusch, Peilung, 45 Grad. 45 Grad, huh? Okay, well... Kurs setzen. Große Fahrt voraus. Funkraum besetzen. Propeller noise is worth 150. All right, we'll take it. Got very, very calm seas here. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be able to catch up go, uh, going seven knots. The ship's also going seven knots. We're just going to keep the... We're going to try to go flank to maybe have any kind of chance here. catch this guy what am I I'm going 10 knots I'm going probably a little bit faster than him Handelsschiff 345 Grad Really How do you see it Did 
I just have a silhouette there? Apparently, I do. <laughs> I can't see anything. No, apparently I lost it. How can it, how did it get away from me when I'm going ten knots? How? How did it disappear? What is going on? What the hell? Uh, okay, so it's still ahead of me somewhere. I mean, they're not going to be able to see me at all either, right? I mean... I'm not catching up to the ship. This is the... Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I can see this. Is, but yeah, he's... So he's heading away from me. That's why I'm having a tough time catching up to him. I'm definitely not going to hit him with the torpedo this way. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Kurs 8,1 Grad. Okay, he's definitely not heading directly towards the... Um Why is it... Okay, yeah, this is what I wanted. I'm going to try to pass him, actually. Anblasen. Aktuelle Tiefe, 10 Meter. Zeigt meine Auszeit. What time is it? Hoffman's getting some rest. Okay. Reader Roland Larson. Auf Dieselmotoren wechseln. That doesn't sound like uh, a British ship at all. I don't know how I'm identifying it. I can't see anything. What is going on? Well, let's see if we can catch up to him at least. free look mode I can actually get a glimpse Norwegian flag Roald Larsen okay don't think they've detected me yet
Ja, 20. Ah, well, let's board these guys. We don't have anyone that speaks Norwegian, but I hope uh, there's any, some some way to communicate here. Okay, and flies a neutral frag. It's not escorted. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna send a delegation to the freighter. We're gonna send. Uh, I, don't, I don't actually have a good navigator on here. man and other than that there's, there's not much point taking any of my engineers with me take some ranks okay after climbing the deck your crew faces a walk from a cold welcome from the cargo ship's crew. What do you want? Asked the captain in German without exchanging any pleasantries. This is a neutral ship and you shouldn't be here. Okay. I'm going to ask for the shipping documents. He looks a bit nervous, huh? Of course he's nervous. There's a U-boat right in front of us. Stern section there, or stern off the stern of the ship, or off the sorry starboard of the ship. Okay, port of Bergen. I could put the pressure on. Okay, I got the merchant skill, which apparently I have. He seems to be right, okay, so Port of Bergen, obviously Bergen is a city in Norway, so... Um, Okay, so we're gonna do a very slow search of this Norwegian freighter. Okay, we're just gonna fast forward this. I guess it's slow because I don't I didn't bring the full complement of crew over here. Five guys going through all the cargo is taking quite a bit of time. Oh, we are being thorough. Okay.
Okay, so nothing unusual was found. The search. Um, what are they transporting? Oh, <laughs> a lot of medical supplies. Okay, wow. That's a lot of medical supplies. Okay, we're just going to share smoke here and tell them and we haven't found anything and we wish him a pleasant journey. Look, where, oh, my radio officer. Yeah, okay, he's missing because he, he's wearing his rain cape and just climbing up the ladder. It's worth a hundred for an inspection. We can use any any Reichsmark that we can get here. And we got smoke over the horizon. Okay, it's probably just uh, the Larsen. Okay, well. We've headed pretty far north, so Check if we're still in our patrol area. Shit, why they're out here anyway? Captain's gonna go inside. Yeah, we're almost outside our patrol area, but. Uh, Okay, the battery's charging back up. Uh, we're still at 81% fuel, so everything is well there. I think I did my my galley check this morning, but All is good there. Actually, forgot when I changed course. <laughs> we already lost visual. Oh, there it is. Get a little bit of distance between us and the and the Lars, I'd say. Interesting. Merchant ship heard in square AN416 or near. Hydrophone operators report slow speed, southwestern course, carrying on with other orders. AN416. On the southern course. It's four one. Okay. 
in a southern course slow speed okay so it's gonna be heading to this direction okay that's good enough we will also set a course thank you very much for the information Let's do an obligatory. Tauchen auf 50 Meter. Auf Schraube setzen. Auf E-Motoren wechseln. Schraubengeräusch. Peilung 160 Grad. 160 Grad. Could be. Yeah, it's probably the Norwegian ship. Ich benötige hier etwas Unterstützung. Bestätige. Fünfzig Meter. At fifty meters, Bigwood Farmer is using. You know what? Actually, he needs some rest. Endlich ein paar Stunden Pause. Anblasen. Aktuelle Tiefe fünfunddreißig Meter. Herr Kaloy, wir sind aufgetaucht. Still horrible weather, huh? Herr Kaloyan? No, rougher seas now as well. Diesel compressor is on. Alright. Herr Kaloyan, we are aufgetaucht. Thank you. Once we reach this, another. Wir haben unsere Position erreicht. Thank you. Okay, we're just gonna sit here and listen for a bit, I'd say. Uh, yeah, okay. just go to my usual 25 meters. Man, the attack periscope. Why? Uh, of course, we can just leave it at Halbe Fahrt voraus and see if we can have hear anything here, huh? Schraubengeräusch, Peilung, zwei hundred zehn. Wait, 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 wait. So we can actually. Somewhere in this direction, right? So that's probably so. The, the Norwegian ship it was heading to Bergen, right? Which is up here. So, and we encountered it somewhere in this area. So, they are most likely on the way there. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Kurs setzen. There's really no point being at the on the scope at <laughs> nine, 25 meters. There really is, dude. Just don't. Just don't do it. I think there's a way to control. Isn't there a way to control that too? That they can. 
Uh, not man the scopes with there. Here you can tell them what they should and should not do. Power switch task and bulk hints. Okay. Bulk is actually quite important. Oh, you can even do a four shift model. That's kind of nice. Wonder. Uh, no, I'll just leave it for now. But yeah, I, I kind of want them to man the scopes, even though it's sometimes a little bit odd that they do it when you're underwater. Didn't he say 210? Oh, I guess it's 210 relative to my position, obviously. So, like, somewhere here. Yeah. Which is about 255... Perfect. Well, not too much going on here. Ich liebe es auf dem Wasser zu sein. Ich auch. He said he loves being on the water. Oh my bilges. I got a little bit of water. Not too much, a cu cubic meter. Oh, excuse me. Whenever using the map, that dripping noise. <laughs> hmm, actually getting some bad air quality here. And my batteries are emptying. But yeah, there's there's not too much going on here. I'm gonna let him rest. Surface the boat. Take control of the captain. Aktuelle Tiefe 20 Meter. You deserve some rest, Schuster. Well, my torpedoes were loaded. I remember. Auf diesel motoren wechseln. Natürlich, Herr Kaloin. Herr Kaloin, wir sind aufgetaucht. Thank you.
Well, it's been a slow day, I'd say. <laughs> but we're getting closer to completing our um, our mission here. We might be able to intercept uh, that ship that was mentioned to us in our communique. I'm going to wait uh, an hour for my batteries to charge and then do another dive and uh, see if we can find that, uh, that ship. Finally, we were out of the bad weather, though. We got some good sights, at least, going into the evening. <coughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm just standing in your way, sorry. Could have just said something, Jesus. Peters. Well, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye-bye.